everything you're doing now behind the bench as Coach Ryan Quo, any of that going to help you as number 29, the player, Ryan Quo? First of all, you realize uh, things happen fast behind the bench. I mean, you know, for Pat as a head coach or any head coach, just say in the National Hockey League, they got to be on their toes. And, you know, things change, and especially if you're matching up lines, you're trying to avoid certain matchups. There's a lot going on. You know, you got to have the lines ready to go. So, with the things happening fast, the first time I was on the bench, that's what I noticed the most was. Uh, there's a lot happening quick and you got to be ready, so definitely there's more respect for coaches in that area. And they got a tough job, they got 20 guys to think about, so I think we definitely have gained a little more respect. There you go, there you go, that's the way to use it, there you go. You got the front guy, the forward got the guy coming back door, that goes to the forward, okay? You know, the Bulls record speaks for itself before Clo and after Clo. And obviously, Pat's doing a pretty good job. You're there to help and kind of assist in other ways. Do you feel like you're seeing the impact that you're having on this team? Do you feel the reward of being a coach? Well, as it went on, I, I realized that, like I said, I just wanted to be behind the bench and just kind of every now and then give my uh, two cents worth. But I felt like the guys are so open to new things and, and they're sponges and they want to learn, they want to get better, and they just want to win. So if there's a guy in front, you got him. And then this guy? And yes, what about the guy in the well, front? Well, Soba's coming. Okay, the other guy. Yeah. Work back now. Stay up. That's it. Stay up again, Kinger. a boy. I know we heard some strong language tonight. Use that point tonight, boys. Use the top tonight. Are you holding anything back? It's a winner, boys. Strap it up the changes. Did I get into and yeah. I see something, I feel like if I don't tell the players, if I don't voice my opinion, and why am I even back here or I'm cheating the guys? Because they do want to learn. And, uh, you know, I'm not on the bench beating all the time, but I try to be positive when I can and try to give my two cents when I can. And sometimes uh, I get frustrated and scream a little bit, maybe curse, but uh, that's I miss that from playing hockey, so I gotta take it out somewhere. There you go. Drive! Drive power! That was two of the breakouts, like the first one Sova comes at the guy, picks it out to Dino, picks it out to Andrew. See how much time he had? This experience is making you realize what about the potential for maybe your own chance at a coaching career after you're done. I've always kind of been intrigued by the management side of uh, when I was done. Now, with this experience, of course, I, I love the game. I like being around it. Uh, this coaching side has been fun. I mean, it's just fun to see the players get better, and, you know, as a team improves and stuff. But on the other hand, the one thing I realized is that how much I miss playing, and I'm certainly not ready to step behind the bench or anything yet. And I uh, feel like, you know, that passion to still play is definitely still there, so I miss it.